all wrong. Um, and I gotta kind of figure out where it sits in the page. And I think if the steeple's about here, now we're probably, our foreground is not quite as tall as this, so we're going to shore that up a little more too, more like that. Well, it's actually maybe a little bit more. A third, a third, and a third, basically, if you kind of were dividing your paper into thirds. So you can kind of get the idea of the scale of the piece and then proportion out here. I, and don't get too nitpicky with the drawing because it's, mm, we're trying to do an impressionistic, here the perspective goes down and you've got these little flaring uh, architectural elements of this, the church. You can kind of see the side of this. And then after this big white triangle uh, feature, what do you call that? A pediment or something? I'm sure there's a name, but <laughs> I'm not smart enough to know what it is. If my architect friend was here, he could tell us. I've invited him to come to our uh, our online here. He's a watercolor painter as well. And um, one of these days, he'll probably join in on the fun, if he can stand it. So I think while I'm drawing this, I'll zoom in a little bit more on this drawing. And those of you that are on Instagram with me, with our group, and also in the Facebook sketchbook group, I did post images online of my thumbnail sketch, and which is here, and um, some of the images of Clarion. So I have a friend who went to Clarion, to the university there, and um, he ended up buying, doing real estate and buying a few buildings in the town. And he has an old historic building there that he has decided uh, to turn into an art gallery. And um, I think it would be fun to give him a few images to have for sale in his uh, in his art gallery. So I'm trying to play around a little bit with uh, with this drawing and. Um, and we'll do a tree shape, maybe another tree shape. And some tree shapes over here on this side. And this is kind of where I imagined a few things like this building here and this building here. And then we're going to have lots of things going on in the sky back there. And uh, let's continue. Here's our perspective of the street. And maybe we'll make it go slightly this way. And we're going to put some cars in there. There's one. And actually, maybe I'll move that over and make one here. I need my eraser. Now, I know this drawing is a little bit uh, challenging for some of the new painters, but. 
you know, when you're doing a car, you've got your windshield, right? And then it kind of comes down like that in the front. And then a couple of wheels, tires here underneath. This looks like the back of a car now, but maybe I'll give it something like that. Maybe some lights down here. And pretty soon you have a car shape. Doesn't look like the wheels are connected to this, but. Okay. In the old days, we had antennas. Huh, <laughs> they don't have those anymore, but. So, maybe this is a car coming at you, and then, <clears throat> so it's two boxes. This box, and this box. And maybe you have, um, you know, a license plate here. It doesn't really get much more simple than that. And then if you have cars, you know, in front of it, then they lie up here and you can see maybe a sliver of the back of a car. Because this one might be in front of it. And there's another car there. Maybe there's another car there. Another one there. And that's it. In fact, this looks better with a little higher. And there's another car there. You guys are quiet today. Nobody's here today. I think I scared everybody off with my move. What do you think, Aunt Dot? Dotty Dot? Okay. All right, so anyway, here's another shot of Clarion in with the dramatic nighttime sky, and I'd like to kind of do one of those as well. We'll see how I do. I think this building I might make a little bit taller here. And let's finish getting this these buildings in here. So there's one that kind of comes to about there in the center of the church. And then um, there's another building here, which kind of actually comes in front of this. And goes back. Then there's another little Mm. Oh, this is part of the church back here, so actually, I kind of like that better, so maybe we'll do that. And then this building is here, uh, it actually comes about here. Uh, do I like that? Yeah, it's okay. Let's make sure we get it about like that. And then this other building runs into it and it's, we're gonna just pretend it's there. And And at the same time, all of this
action is going this way. And here we've got well, that looks a little extreme. I think it flattens out a little more than that. But. Okay. And it looks nice with the little this building. Needs a little more detail there. And then there's a, like a window here and so on and so on. That's pretty good. Over here, I feel like I can kind of make these trees more interesting there. And this building will have a little more angle on it as well. Some windows. This one is here next to it. And there we go. Let's put a car here. Make it a little bit bigger one. A little closer to us. And um, we can try to do it where it, at night the reflections are coming down from all these street lights. Maybe we'll start building them there. And they just come up at an angle here. So we'll have maybe three of them. Well, maybe more. There's quite a few in Clarion, so. Uh, I want them to be I don't want them all to be even, even, even. So, especially where they intersect buildings, I'd like them to be more random. And then maybe we have a nice one right here that's coming down there. There we go. You gotta kind of place those in because other you you need to know where to leave those nice highlights, especially at night if you're gonna have some you know halos around those. And here, this maybe this car, the headlights are you know coming at us, so there'll be some nice long shadows there or reflections, whatever you want to call it, highlights, reflections. And this car maybe here is driving away from us. All right. And then we've got our cloud stuff going on. And over here, let's put another light. Um, the sidewalk coming down here. And then we can add a few people. There's a guy there. He's walking with this lady. Put a bigger person, maybe there. And same thing over here. Just go directly across and place the heads in the same area. Put these guys walking together here. And put this guy a dog right there with him, because I usually do. And that's kind of our scene. Maybe I'll put a guy here uh, standing in the middle of the road chatting with this driver. Or maybe he's just crossing the street or something there. So this will have some nice reflections coming down. And storefront. Maybe another little tree here. And of course, the, the light post. And a couple birds. And maybe a little chimney or something there.
This is a very complicated drawing, I think, for a beginning watercolor person. I apologize for that, but look at, now you have, I've done all the work for you, <laughs> right? Now you have your sketch, a beautiful clarion. Okay. I need to change my title on this live because it still says French cityscape. Hmm. Well, par for the course, my other light doesn't want to go on. There we go. All right. Okay. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now, I don't think we really even need our reference photo anymore. I'm just going to look for any other little details that are in here. Maybe there's a white line there. Roof line. Shouldn't use this orange eraser. Should use your soft eraser for that. And then I might put a couple of details here because they're in the. I can see tiny little details in the in the drawing of these little things sticking up off the roof and down here you know maybe another light light there and uh, maybe a traffic light thing here those are kind of fun to put in and maybe here we'll do a hanging over street light. Maybe I'll make it, turn it into a traffic light because um, I don't think Clarion has those kind of street lights. So we'll just here we go. So quiet today. <clears throat> Let me take a peek here. It's time to start painting so let's get this one going just gonna use that there to make it Guess who's here? Mr. Chris. Say hi to Aunt Todd. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> a little closer so um. she could see you. Look at this hair. Isn't that great? Yeah, I gotta get it How cut. How are you gonna get it cut today? I don't know. Shorter, duh. Like, like all of it? I'm or? just gonna trim it a little bit. Oh, just trim it, yeah. yeah. Trim up the back and give it a cool style. Yeah. Are you gonna keep it long on top? Uh, yeah, but I might cut it down. Uh, a little bit? Just a little bit. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Um, yeah. All right. I'm grab some food. I like your yes, outfit. Yes, have fun. Stay entertained. <laughs> <laughs> Sleepy. Yeah. This is the time he gets up. Terry says hi. <laughs> uh, well, hey, could you run in the garage and grab me a Diet Dr. Pepper? Sure. Can we, can we get some more melatonin, by the way? Sure. Cool. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right. 
Well, that's the kid update. He survived last week's crash, so that's good. All right, time to get some water on this. And let's see how we do. <laughs> Isn't his hair great? Yeah, he's got the hair. I don't know where he's going on Sunday evening to get his hair cut, but I think he should wait until tomorrow on that one. <clears throat> yes, only a trim. That's all he needs. <sighs> okay. So we're going to go for a little purple and a uh, Hansy yellow in this one, I think. Yeah. I could use a little lemon yellow, too. Thanks. Could I have a glass of ice? Sure. All right. I need something to drink. I hate to ask Chris to get me ice because with COVID, I don't know. But whatever. I'll survive, right? Okay. So, I think a nice lemony yellow actually would look good. The problem with all my lemony yellows is that they're all contaminated with green. And that's why you should have two yellows on your palette. Two spaces for your light lemony yellow because um, one, you try to keep non-contaminated, but it always seems to get contaminated anyway. So... Uh, yellow for a nocturne. Here you go. Thanks, honey. Oh, great, thanks. I get the fish burn cup. Woohoo! See the fish burn military label? <laughs> All right. Oh, you like my earrings? Aren't they cool? They look good with this green shirt too because they kind of pick up the, um, the color. I didn't get to change out the hoops yet, but I'm going to. Okay. So I think I'll use some... Why don't I get a little test sheet out so I can show you my color palette. This will work. Let's see if we do. I really like that pink color in there. It's orange and who knows what. Up on top, it's a bluish. So this is a little dioxazine purple that I'm going to mix with a little bit of um, ultramarine, and you get a beautiful purple. And then we'll go into our. This is Quinn Magenta that's been contaminated with stuff. See that? It's a tiny bit contaminated with some alizarin crimson. But if I put down some of this, this Hansi Yellow and try to grab... Actually, I, wanna, I want these to kind of blend into a a nice sunsetty kind of thing. I think that'll work. And then to top it off, you use a little lemony yellow down here. And you're going to get a nice sunset look. And I think the challenge on this one is going to be using enough purple and ultramarine to really make that sky dark. And I don't want it just purpley, so I'm, maybe I'll even put a little cobalt blue in there. And that gives you that kind of darker look. And I think I still need a little bit more pink in there, so we're just going to let them run together. A soft transition between these colors. 
we're going to try anyway. And if I had one more pink on my palette, which I don't, but I think last week, or not last week, but a few weeks ago, we were talking about Potter's Pink. And I don't think I had Potter's Pink, but I have something else here. Um, I'm not sure which pink this is. And I kind of like that in there, almost better than the, um, well, maybe not, better than the magenta. And which pink was this? Terry, do you remember what I was using? I put it in my other palette, my little palette. Uh, I don't remember what it is. Anyway. Use whatever pink color you have. So, um, and I think I'll use a little yellow ochre too, maybe underneath. Well, we'll see coming through here. It's gonna be an experiment. I don't work these out in advance um, because this is sketchbook practice, so. Um, There's no guarantees. Now, so I guess I decided I'm gonna try to do it as a nocturne, maybe. <laughs> Wish me luck. Where's my purple? Here we go. All right, so here we go in our sky. Pretty much want that to get nice and juicy up there, and maybe it'll even run into um, And the building is going to be dark, but around it, I want some nice, those lights. So I'm going to throw in a little bit of these orangey colors. And I have my paper tilted on a, um, on a um, you know on an easel here so let's put a little pink in there These trees are going to go darker, so it doesn't really matter if I go right through them. I may add a little bit of purple around there and some purple streaks with this magenta up in the sky. Just going right back into that while it's still wet. Actually, maybe I'll put a little bit more 
this up here. And we'll just keep going down around our building. I'm going to add a little yellow ochre over here to this one because I don't want it completely cut off from the painting. I'll just put this in here and a little bit of that bright yellow here where I have some of these um, lights lighting things up so that I'm not forgetting them. I'm just putting those in a little more. Now let's go ahead and put a light yellow ochre. On the church, so it doesn't look cut out. And this can come across save some of that white on that building. I'll just bring this around. spots in here I'm just gonna go through those I don't want them all showing up here I should have used a bigger brush maybe I'm gonna try to keep the light color on the tops of the roofs of these cars so I'm painting around those and then I'm just coming forward with the rest of this color. Maybe I keep a little, a few whites around those lights if I can. And in we go. And then I want to remember to keep some yellow reflections coming off of. Now this one, this one could be coming toward us with the yellow and this other one may be going away with more red, but we'll, try to ease back into a little bit more yellow ochre here. Maybe this storefront is lit up with some yellow. And um, bring that wash all the way down. I like the idea of a little bit of pink in this building, so I'll add a little bit there on top. I probably should have waited till the second wash for that because I see it's gonna leave some hard edges there but that's okay. All right so <clears throat> um, the only thing I might do is like I said add a little bit of pink some of these reflections. I think I've saved plenty of light yellow for some glow around these posts. Wipe off the edges of this so this doesn't 
bleed back into my painting. <laughs> There's DJ. How are you, DJ? You're up late. How have you been? It was so quiet in my stream. There's like no one here. Tell me what's going on with you. Are you back to school? Back teaching? All right. I need to hair dryer this for a minute. <laughs> but I'm going to take it in the other room. So I'll just put my, because I don't want to lose, like last time I, my power went uh, out. So I will be right back. This. <clears throat> All right, it's dry enough. Let's turn that off. So here it is. Um, it's dried up pretty good. I think for a nocturne, you might want to make some of this darker. Like I said, the trouble was going to be getting it dark enough, but it's okay. So DJ says... Your school started, so you're super busy nowadays. Yeah, I get it. I understand. And we're busy because we're moving. We're going out west, finally. <laughs> I hope I like it when I get there. So one thing with these reflections is notice the lights, the real white of that one coming at us the pinks the yellows and i love this green of the of the stoplight so it might be fun to put a little bit of that aqua color in there at the end but for right now what we need to do is darken up all these buildings so <clears throat> You got so much tired and you couldn't watch my stream. Well, last week my stream got um, interrupted because, um, well, yeah, you sh and you need your sleep. Um, but 
When I move out to Arizona, I'll probably be streaming earlier because it's two hours earlier there. Um, so maybe I'll do my stream at like, maybe I'll do it like at noon, Arizona time. Well, that would be the, no, yeah. Well, I'm not sure because <laughs> make a video of my journey. It'll be fun to see me travel and everything. Yes, that will be fun. I will do that. I'll show you lots of um, cactuses and palm trees. And sunsets. Okay, so um, yeah, if I stream at noon in Arizona, it's two o'clock here. So it'd be like um, an hour earlier anyway. So we'll see. Maybe I'll have to do it early Sunday morning. All right, let's get some darks in here. Um, so probably just burnt sienna and some ultramarine. church I'm gonna want to leave a little bit of highlight for the some of the architecture on there like this big huge triangle shape and I don't want it too like just black black so I want to put make sure a little bit of some colors shining through there maybe a little bit of blue And I think it's a red brick building, so I may taper that off and put in a little bit of magenta. And I think the magenta over the top of the orange um, is kind of nice. It should leave a nice, a little bit of a nice glow. And I'm just looking at the church to see if there are any white shapes that I can preserve. there on that ledge. Oops. And then the building below it has a um, sort of a brown roof. I'll just continue with this here. So how is it going with COVID, EJ? Hi, Paulina. Oh, everybody's here, woohoo. <laughs> Paulina, it's late for you too, but you're up, right? I think here in the US, COVID is, uh, you know, it's like the winter flu season, you know, it's around and people are getting sick, some people more than others that are, um, that have, you know, compromised immune systems, which is to be expected. But fortunately, we have a virus uh, vaccine coming very soon, which should help us a lot. And um, so let me tell you, the reason I'm doing this Clarion, Pennsylvania building is because 
my friend owns a building there, an old building, a historic building, and he's renovating it. And he didn't know what to do with it. And he was thinking some kind of gift shop or something. And uh, I happened to be down at Starbucks one day having coffee and this guy, uh, retired guy who lives down there in the um, in the apartments nearby, he was watching me paint and he wanted to buy some paintings and he introduced, he wanted to introduce me to his friend because his friend was very interested in the idea of art space and gift shop kind of thing. So I've been following his, um, his, his, he's been building out this building and turning it into a great space. So, um, anyway, uh, he wants me to make some paintings of the town there for him to put in the gift shop. And so I'm trying, just, you know, playing around a little bit here with some of these colors. I mean, with some of these <laughs> sketches. <laughs> to see if I can come up with something nice for his um, for his gift shop. So we'll see. We'll see how we do. And I think here we'll just come around. Kind of gently on those and then we'll we'll get those darker in a minute especially down down here near the street I think I left the ledge of this building a little bit dark oh wow so DJ, how is that possible? Because it just the winter is is, uh, is ending, or are they getting vaccined, or what's going on? I gotta just move across this, get this tree shape in here a little bit. That's really purpley. Let's get some blue in there. I just want to This is a nitpicky kind of painting to um, to do online for beginners, but I thought it would be kind of fun to work through anyway. Okay, so now I've gone right over my my light there. <clears throat> oh, you like my earrings? Thank you. <laughs> I had a birthday recently, so um, they were a gift. I didn't make them. A lot of times I make my own jewelry, but these are not. So I'm just coming across the bottom here with a little bit of this light. Mm. Magenta over the top and then I can get up into these trees and make them darker too. Um, I'm kind of mixing in a little bit of um, cobalt, deltamarine, burnt sienna,
And I feel like this, I gotta tone this one down a little bit. It's got a little bit too much purple in there. So I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna drop in bits of um, cobalt teal in spots because I'm also gonna have a little bit of the cobalt teal reflection coming off one of these lights and maybe I'll make it here. This site's going to have a cobalt, and so is that. So, I know that looks a little funny right now, but I'll soften them up a little. I just don't want to forget they're there. Okay. Back to my car here. Some dark wheels underneath there. And um, <clears throat> I guess I decided this one is going away, so maybe it has the red, the red reflection coming down. Boy, did I choose a hard one today or what? What was I thinking? the birthday well I was in Arizona when we had the birthday and I didn't stream did I change my color palette um, thank you thank you for the happy birthday yes I'm another year another year thankful for that exactly and um, <laughs> It was in November, November 18, and um, I was in Phoenix, and we were shopping, 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 trying to find a house, and so um, what did we do? We went out. In fact, Terry, I was there with my sister, and we went out, and we had um, a great dinner at an Italian restaurant. It was really nice, and um, yeah. So, no, I didn't really change my color palette. I'm just trying to do it like a nocturne, a nighttime painting. I think it'll make more sense as I get more of it done. Let's put this guy in while we're... Let's see, we'll give him this guy here. We'll draw these guys in. Maybe one of them has a little more. There I go, putting in bright colors again. And stick with simple. Simple colors are the best. Thank you, DJ, for the birthday wishes. At my age, I'm just thankful I'm having birthdays, right? Another year? That's the way it is. That's it. Put a guy over here. 
and let's see maybe this person has a little bit of that and we've got oh that's a car there okay so let's throw these in kind of quickly um, so these cars I left a little white line on for the the windshield and then also for the um, you know the hood of the car is kind of bright there I guess I decided I put the red streaks on here but um, I think I'd already decided I was going to do these guys coming at me so I'm a little bit mixed up today I wonder why <laughs> I'm gonna add these reflections down here all right and I'm gonna put another body another person next to this guy Here we go. And then we'll put some kind of head face shapes on them. Instantly they'll look more human-like. Put in some more shadow shapes around these guys, especially back in there, it's a little darker. <clears throat> couple windows and maybe there Irene. <laughs> oh, Terry is here actually. She's been on the phone chatting with me. She doesn't chat on YouTube. But, um, and Irene, Irene kind of, she decided that it was too, um, it was too difficult for her to follow along. But um, I'm going to encourage her to come back and chat with us one of these days anyway. It'd be fun to. I did catch up with her. In fact, Irene has a birthday um, um, the day before mine. So we did chat uh, on our birthdays, and that was fun. She took a tumble. Um, 
recently and she was at the grocery store and she was um, trying to, I think she had like her cane, like she uses a cane to walk and she had trouble with her cane and um, it got caught up somehow and she tripped and she fell on the curb and she like, I think she um, maybe broke her cheekbone possibly. I don't, I don't know, but I know it wasn't, it wasn't good. And um, so that's kind of, I was not happy to hear that. I think when you get older, it's easier to trip and fall. And when you do, things break because, you know, you're more fragile. So I'm just working that side of the painting a little bit, adding more darks. And um, I think in the image here, I see a kind of a... an awning that has this blue. So I'm gonna put that in there. Just like that. And carry it back to this light post and that reflection coming down there. <laughs> All right, let's keep going here. Uh, so, this side of the building, maybe we'll do a little bit more warmer tones. You know, it would be fun to put in there, which I don't know if I have on my palette, but a little bit more of a, a rusty, um, I still want it, I don't want it to just jump out all rusty colored, but I do like this, um, Quinacridone Sienna, I think it's called. Quinburnt Sienna. Quinburnt Scarlet. I really wanted like a, well, maybe the Quinburnt Scarlet. I want like a brown gold on the other side because this side's kind of cool. It's got all that purple in there and magenta. So I thought maybe, well, I could also use a little bit of that Hansi Yellow, but it's really yellow. So this is Burnt Scarlet. If I can get some out of here. This tube is pretty old. I might need a pliers. Well, there's also Laura, who I don't know if Laura's around. And Tong, yes. And um uh Hope. She's not a regular, but she comes around. And you know, I haven't been very um, religious about posting these things, so. <laughs> it's lucky I get anyone to show up. <sighs> but today is kind of an especially hard one. And then we have some of my West Coasters, which maybe I'll get them to, um, to come in a little more often. We've got my friends in California and now um, um, what am I trying to say? I can't think and paint at the same time. Um, Carly, who's in San Francisco and then now I just added a little bit of um, uh, a little bit of um, ultramarine to that burnt scarlet color. And it makes a nice kind of a brown. 
there. And I think we'll just kind of transition this to a little bit more of a bluish over here. And we'll throw in some darks for those windows. And then keep going. And maybe let uh, that light shine around these. Maybe the glow comes right across. And here, I can deepen some of this up a little bit. I like this burnt orangey color in here. It's kind of wild. I'd probably tone it down. It's a little yellow ochre. Just throw in there to tone it down a little bit. And then we get our reflections. We'll go back to a cooler color underneath this and in between these cars. I love the transparency here. Um, I'll hold it up so you can see how cool that looks when those colors are layered one on top of the other. Oh, thanks, DJ. Yeah, I think she's healing pretty well. I, I'm due to give her a call. I did call her, and um, she's very excited that we're moving to um, Phoenix because we'll be only, like, three or four hours by car to her um, where she lives. So we'll be able to go over there. In fact, we may go over there over the holidays, which would be wonderful to see her. And um, maybe we could all stream together. That would be fun. I'm just gonna, uh, let's see. I need to get my, there we go. So Paulina, the next time you're traveling in the States, you have to come to <laughs> for work. If you get out west, we can go up and see the Grand Canyon. It's not too far. DJ, you too. Looking on my phone. <laughs> oh, and paint, yes. And paint the Grand Canyon, right? Just trying to get this to focus a little better. There we go. Um, so I have that one going that way. These ones don't know which way they're going, coming or going. That's okay. Um... Yeah, I hope to get up there and paint with the Sedona plein air painters, whoever I can find out there. And um, let's put a little bit of darkness in here for these buildings. Here we go. And I think I told you all I took Chris to the Grand Canyon for Easter spring break one year. In fact, Terry was with us and um, it snowed. We had a blizzard. 
We woke up in the morning, we couldn't see the Grand Canyon at all. Completely whited out. All right, a little bit more detail on these cars and the people, and then uh, put some some kind of shape in there. A little bit of that pink, pinky reflected light on here, on the top of the car. I'm getting a little bit nitpicky, which is not good. You kind of have to keep it a little bit loose. That's good. All right, I want to darken up some of these trees. So does anybody have any big plans for the week? DJ and Paulina, have you had time to do any artwork? Or are you feeling inspired or not really? You're just feeling like you're back to work maybe, right? Um, okay. Get some really thick uh, burnt sienna on here and give this guy some legs. And the dog, of course. It might be a little bit too wet to do the dog, but ooh, a little more brown on there. Kind of a funny dog, but there he goes. I'm just going to put in some real quick little leg shapes, which are just fast brush strokes, and then some. I'll get my other brush and, and um, make some more calligraphy here. I'm giving the lamp posts a little V shape, a little bit of hardware structure. <clears throat> So now we're going to put on the, a few more darks, some finishing touches. <laughs> oh, is it, has it been cold? You know what, Paulina, we've been really fortunate here. Um, in North Carolina, we get very mild winters, although on Tuesday, it's supposed to be a high of only 47 degrees, which is really cold for us right now. I mean, sometimes it does get to freezing here, freezing temperatures, but um, we haven't had much of that this winter yet. And we really, it's really mild here in the Carolinas anyway. Um, so we, we can't complain. I'm going to put this little light post in there anyway, because I think we need it. And here, some of these posts. 
and then we need a few lines to indicate the street right maybe a crosswalk up there or something my little dog didn't get too cute i've got to fix him up a little bit that's better maybe it always helps to have a really dry brush to do this well the good thing about painting nowadays is that um there's so many tutorials and things online that you can really just pick up your sketchbook. Oh, did you see? I saw on the news this morning about this guy who's he'd been posting his sketches on um, Instagram, and you probably all know who he is, but I didn't know who he was. And um, I can't even remember his name, but he's got a book out now that's like the bestseller. He was on um, one of the Sunday morning shows today, and it was really sweet to see him because his book is all inspirational and um, such a nice, you know, fun story and a nice artist. And so now he's kind of famous because of his drawings, his little doodles that he was just doing, you know, and posting on Instagram. I can't, I don't know his name though, but I'm going to look it up because you all should know him if you don't, if you haven't seen his work. DJ, you especially would like it, I think. Um, let's see, bestsellers. He has like a, um, he puts a, a fox and a, hmm, let's see, best selling book. I'm trying to look it up to see if I can find it. I'll look on the Amazon charts. It's been printed in like all the languages around the world almost. And, hmm. Terry, did you see that this morning? Fiction. Maybe it's in nonfiction, I doubt it though. I think it's in fiction. Oh, wait. Hmm, I don't see it on the chart. Now, what else can I put in? I want to put the birds in. Ooh, that's a big one. That's probably enough. Bit of let's get this roof 
outlined here. Well, Terry said she didn't see it on the news this morning either. A little bit of splatter there. And over here on the sidewalk, maybe I put a couple lines. And a few doodads. I'm going to sign this. Oh, it's Charlie Mackey. Terry found it. It was on CBS News this morning. M-A-C-K-E-Y, Charlie Mackey. So look up his Instagram account and um, yeah, do you guys know who I'm talking about? Paulina and um, DJ? His drawings and his book is just, just beautiful. It's really cute. You probably already know him. I don't know him though. I mean, I never heard of him until this morning when I saw it on uh, the news. Let's see, I don't know why I put that there. This should be up higher. So I think I'm kind of, kind of happy with this. I'm gonna take the tape off so we can see it. So I don't do nocturnes that often and um, I can obviously use more practice, but uh, in general, I guess this is what I'm, what I was kind of going for. You didn't know about him, DJ? I use my pointer to move my chat over a little bit. Another great painting is about to finish. Well, here it is. I don't know how great it is, but it's it's a painting. I'm going to put my red collar on my dog. And then, of course, we can use some gouache to add some highlights. And if I miss some of this yellow parts, this yellow reflection coming off the car lights, I can take my gouache. In this case, I'm using this. Turner designer gouache, which I found in a box when I was packing to move. And uh, I just mix that with some lemon yellow. Pick some of that up. And I can add it here to this car. And look at that. A beautiful yellow reflection coming off the headlights. Voila! A little more, a little more white on there. If I make it real thick and then drag it down, I get some nice texture there. I can put my white highlight on the car. If I want, I can add little white highlights. Not too obvious, but a few here and there, maybe on these. Um, a few on these lights. Anywhere you feel like you need a highlight that would make something stand out, you can add your gouache to a shoulder, a head, 
uh, any surface that's um, you know maybe perpendicular to uh, to the light above where it might be catching it. No, you don't want to do too much or it's going to start looking chintzy. <laughs> My triangle, I never did finish the inside of it. It looks a little bit funny. So let's put a little purple inside there, dark. We'll pick up some of that dioxazine purple and some ultramarine. Maybe a little bit of burnt sienna, and we'll get this shape in here. I'm not a very careful painter, so that's why I paint the way I do. I don't have patience to do things exactly, exactly. So. That wouldn't be very much fun for me if I was trying to make exact copies of things. And again, this is a really good place for that yellow highlight. The clock tower is glowing here. I didn't do a good job of saving the white on that tower. So I think I'm going to add a little gouache up there and see what happens. Maybe the top of the car could have had a little white highlight there. That looks kind of fake now. Oh. <laughs> and I think these trees, well, I don't know. I think if I'm going to leave them the way they are, I would take my little brush and lift them out. Um, this, I'd like to see this right here. Kind of blend in better to the background. Might have been better if I didn't have those two cars lined up like that. I could have had one in front of the other one. And that might have been a better story, but it's okay and I could put some reflections um, since the light seems to be coming from in front of these people I could add some reflections behind them like that join them together And over here, this guy can have a nice dark reflection. And the dog. And maybe these people. I know you like this music, Paulina. I hope it's helping you get to sleep. <laughs> and I think last what I would do is I would take my, um, my gouache again with this, um, this blue uh, cobalt teal or turquoise color and mix it with a little bit of my gouache right here on my, ooh, that might be a little too much. And maybe a little bit of yellow in there. 
where can I mix it where I'm not going to make a mess right there kind of make a hmm. Oh, I'm making a big mess. I want a little more teal on there. If you mix teal and yellow together, you get kind of a nice... Um, I wanted an interesting green for these traffic lights. I need a little more yellow though. Here we go. This is going to go green now. shoulders these are just this is just dabbling around <laughs> oh you're doing your dishes oh good okay well I'm glad you can watch and I hope you get some time to paint I hope your work is going okay how is it going Paulina I think it looks good when you blur out these lights a little bit. Let them. I like my little painting. So here I'll show it to you. It's really got a lot of life in it. And um I think I can make something nice for um, my friend in Clarion. Maybe I can make a set of greeting cards with these for his gift shop. And all I have to do is print them and um, attach them to my greeting card card stock and sign them and he can sell them right at his gift shop so and let's put some numbers on the clock tower there so you can just keep adding these details once you have the painting painted then putting the details in is kind of fun so let's see we'll put a little a little clock like that and maybe we'll put a little now this was obviously way too difficult for all the beginners but we're using all the same principles we already that we've already talked about quite a bit You like it, DJ? You think it's beautiful. I think it's okay. I might add a little bit of a another tree shape there. And just fill in a little bit of this. guy's got too much of a halo. OK, 
can darken up some of that area under these cars a little bit. So there wouldn't be that much light there. Well, that's it. Time for a spritzer. <laughs> I'm drinking Dr. Pepper. The more I look at the painting, the more I'll see whatever I think it needs. I've got paint all over me. I wonder if Christopher's still here. He came in earlier and said hello, but I think you missed him. Hey, Tiff. Chris? Oh, yeah. He's upstairs. He's gone. <laughs> he came down earlier and said hi in the, in, the, um, in the studio here, but he's gone now. <clears throat> so... Well, I hope everybody has a great week. I'll check in and I'll send some pictures. We're going to have a big project in Phoenix because I think we're buying a house that's a fixer-upper. And that's going to be really a project, a big, big project. So what I've done is I've, I've, I went and I looked um, in the Old Town area for a little studio space, and I think I found one that'll work. But they're not open. They don't open the doors on Sunday, so I have to figure out um, uh, maybe another day and time to stream, um, or I can, you know, maybe find a space uh, wherever we're going to end up staying until the remodel is done. So we'll see. I threatened to do it at Terry's house. But uh, that would be too much of a drive because she doesn't live in the area where I'm going to live. So I think I want this red to just come down. It's a little bit loud there, so I'm just going to take that down a little bit. There we go. That doesn't look quite as, it looks very saturated on the camera, what, what you guys are seeing. Um, so that's bothering me. That's why I'm messing with it a little bit. Okay, that's enough messing around. some of this paint off <laughs> well Paulina have a good week we need to text each other and um, and keep in touch a little bit more it's been kind of crazy around here but um, I uh, would love to see you guys out west and um, we'll we'll definitely keep painting one way or another so <clears throat> good night you guys have a good week I'm going to sign off take care I'm so glad you guys could stop by it was really sweet of you alright kiddos we'll talk to you later bye everybody oops good night DJ thanks for coming and hanging out